Hey guys, welcome back. My name is John. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I am gonna be posting a video very soon about the Jeep Grand Wagoneer, so hit that bell so you're notified when I put that out. Today, this video, I'm gonna be answering one of your questions about the Jeep TJ and how that frame is holding up. So if you don't know, about a year and a half ago to two years ago, I discovered my Jeep frame needed a lot of work because it was rusting apart. So I cut out all that rust, put in new replacement panels, and then I coated it with a bed liner. I live in Canada and let's just say the salty roads aren't best friends with metal frames. So here's the update on the frame for the TJ. I worked on both sides, a bunch of different spots. Here's how they look a year after and a winter after in Canada. We love salting the roads. So uh, yeah, this is how it looks. Yeah, so right here you can really see that line where the old and the new patch was uh, put in. Yeah, so this is what I used the year before and you just saw kind of how it turned out. So not gonna be doing this again, especially not with the frame. Maybe like, maybe there's another use for it, I don't know. Yeah, so instead of spraying something on, I already started doing this with the Grand Wagoneer. I really like how it's turning out. When this dries, it is like rock hard. This time I'm gonna be getting probably another one or two of these and uh, putting it on. It's a small can, cost $80 Canadian, which seems like a lot considering like how big the can is. I, I probably did a third of the Grand Wagoneer frame with one can and this is that. And I'm probably like this far into it. Something else that I did, I covered all of it with POR 15. The inside uh, here and even here and the bottom as well, like all of this stuff. You can probably do an entire car with just one can if you don't drip it all over the floor and you like have a plan. Also in this video, two other things. So second thing on this video, here's a quick little update on how this Jeep is coming along, the Grand Wagoneer 86. So I kind of just put this on pretty much for you guys. Okay, a little bit for me too. I really wanted to see how I was gonna look with the front grill back on. It is gonna have to come off when I put the front fenders on and stuff, but I'm so pumped about how this is turning out. It's been a very long, tedious process. That video is gonna be dropping pretty soon and it's gonna go over part three of working on the front of the Jeep. From working from the frame. Okay, so there's a reminder right here how it used to look. really happy last thing i wanted to show you is this coloring book that i've been making i kind of talked about it briefly in a couple previous videos but now i'm just letting you know here's kind of how it's looking i'm really happy with how it's turning out it's been definitely a covid project for me trying to keep busy here's just a couple examples of how it's turning out so far so everything about this book is hand drawn. The whole premise of the book is to learn about cars, learn about art, bridge the gap between the two in your own ways and just, you know, like have fun. I am still developing this book. Also, I'd love to make more of them. This is the first time I've ever made a coloring book and I've put a lot of myself into it. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I'm also posting more updates on Instagram, which is just my name, John Quintenton. If you want to get Smaller, more consistent updates, check that out. All right, I've talked too much. I gotta go work on some Jeeps again. But before I do, I just wanna say, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching the video. And if you subscribed, thank you, I really appreciate it. 
Also, I haven't tried Totally Awesome as a degreaser. It has a pretty good name, so I'm gonna have to try and uh, get some and see how well it works. My garage floor definitely needs it. Also, comfort and discomfort. I checked out your channel. It looks so in-depth and awesome. You definitely have a new subscriber in me. All right, bye for now. See you in the next video.